The much-anticipated announcement of the next generation of iPhones has people wondering how it will impact the smart access to the world. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here to let us know what we can expect from the updates in our app chat today. You were a quick study on this because they just <laughs> officially announced yeah. it. Oh, like the worst kept secret though, really. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Had a few leaks. <laughs> What'd you find out? Well, actually Apple released actually three different things yesterday. Really? Two iPhones, the iPhone 5C, mm -hmm. the iPhone 5S, and a new operating system, iOS 7. So we're going to take a quick peek at all three of them. Sounds great. All right, so the 5C actually, this is really neat. So this is their low cost entry into the marketplace. This is different for Apple. This starts at around $99. Really? Which is unusual for Apple. They're trying to compete in the lower price market against Ooh. Android and they come in these beautiful colors and this is actually a plastic case which is different keeps the cost down uh -huh. but you don't compromise in quality you still get your 10 hours of talk time your 10 hours of video playback time you get awesome graphics so there's no compromise it's just a cheaper price point and the current processor it still has HD video as well now the iPhone 5s is awesome <laughs> you like it this one I do like this one comes in three neat colors gold silver and gray I like the idea of gold okay yeah. <laughs> Um, the big thing on this that's behind the scenes is this A7 chip. This is a new chip for Apple, and it's really, really fast. It's a 64-bit processor. It's the only phone on the market that's got it. That means the response times are super quick. Your graphics are unbelievable. The depth that you get is wow. unreal. And they pair it with another chip called the M7 coprocessor. And this actually detects motion, mm -hmm. um, so it can tell if you're driving. It can tell if you're running. And so the fitness apps and things like that will be leveraging oh. this chip without mm -hmm. compromising your battery. Okay, very interesting yeah now this thing is all the talk is this new super high-tech it's called the touch ID smart um, touch so if you touch this with oh, that's the fingerprint reading fingerprint, one. yes oh. and it's gonna know who you are based on your fingerprint you put it on the home nice. button and it reads you and so no longer having to put in your passcode that's good because I didn't need to remember any more numbers. <laughs> well, and that's what I think this is going to happen here is that all the apps are going to start going to this fingerprint technology. That's gotcha. what I hope is you don't have to remember all of those passwords. And it does support multiple fingers and multiple prints, essentially. So the kids can use it if you need them to and all of that. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So that's the really great thing. Um, camera is greatly enhanced, larger pixel size, better pictures, burst mode, true tone flash, all kinds of features with that. Live video zoom, slow motion video, mm -hmm. wonderful enhancements. Quickly on this one, this is interesting. Yeah, so the iOS 7 is on both of the phones. So this, okay. is a, this is the new operating system. It's brighter, clearer, redesigned, faster moving, just mm -hmm. all kinds of great new features. All the new apps, look how pretty they are. Mm -hmm. They respond quicker. The calendar got a big facelift, it needed it. Mail allows you to work faster, cleaner, nicer. They've got their design, they've got their speed. They're doing a good job. Now we touched base on all of these, and I, just so people know that we're not necessarily saying this is the Apple iPhone you know, sales pitch. No. You did, we were talking about the, the reason Apple's doing this. So Android is still one of the top selling well, uh, smartphones devices. Absolutely, Android has a lot of install base, very huge install base. Um, Apple has control of both the operating system and the hardware, okay. Okay? so that's kind of their their advantage, I guess you could say, so it's built to really leverage, their operating systems are built to leverage the fast processor. Uh -huh. Android is great, lower cost, but that's why they're coming in with this 5C to really compete in that marketplace. So we could actually benefit from it, whether we're Android folks or iPhone folks, because there could be a little war going on. There could be. Battling back and forth for that's our right. smartphone dollars. Absolutely. All exactly right. If you want to find out more about this, because there's a lot to know, go to iPadWisdom at gmail.com. Put subscribe in the subject line and you'll get Francie's e-newsletter. And next week, we're going to do the app we were trying to run today, but we went to breaking news on the iPhone. Absolutely. So next week, we'll be talking about a great app for school students. It's really neat. I'd love to show that. It'll be okay. wonderful.